Welcome back to the Breakdown Tech. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to clean a PC. Now, this is gonna be kind of a jump cut back and forth style video. We're gonna be outside cleaning the PC. We're gonna be inside, just me talking to you guys like this. But overall, we're cleaning the PC outside. I'm doing an intro in here. So what are we gonna be using? Well, we're gonna be using compressed air. Of course, we're gonna be using a little brush to brush off parts of the PC that we need to. And we're going to be using a microfiber cloth, rubbing alcohol, paper towels, and Q-tips. All of this will allow you to clean your PC nearly perfectly. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do when cleaning a PC is actually clean the exterior. And so as you can see, there's a little bit of dust here, not too much. I'm just gonna wipe down this entire back part and uh, kind of get what I can off. Also, the top of the system has some dust on it, so we're going to wanna wipe that off as well, in addition to the front. But uh, just take a paper towel and kind of dust it off. Doesn't need to be wet. Don't do a wet paper towel, that's not smart. And uh, if you are going to wet it, use isopropyl alcohol here to uh, to do that. But anyway, let's go ahead and just do that, and then I'll meet you guys when I'm taking it apart. Okay, so now we uh, have cleaned the exterior of the PC, just wiped it off. Usually you don't need to get too down and dirty with that. I did take some isopropyl alcohol and cleaned the front glass plate, but other than that, it is now clean. So what we're going to do is take out our thumb screws here on the front panel and on the back panel in order to uh, access the inside of this thing. Now the reason we're doing both is because dust lives in both. Now the front panel of this PC had to be a little more careful. It does have a glass part of it right there. So I'm gonna set it into an inside where I know it's not gonna be damaged. But before we do that, I am gonna clean the inside of it. Now, doing this isn't that difficult. I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the exterior of the PC and literally just wipe it down with a paper towel. And you'll see some sexy B-roll wiping down shots, basically. So that's that. But I'm gonna set this aside and then take the back panel off. Taking the back panel off is just as you would expect. Take out the thumb screws just like the front and pump the panel off. I actually, in this particular system, am expecting more dust on the back panel than on the front. Oh, there goes my screw, and that's something you gotta be careful for. You don't wanna lose your thumb screws here, but uh, little rubber washer that's on there popped off. So now let's go ahead and just pop the back panel of this system off. And yes, I saw some dust flying. And the reason for that is because this system has airflow pretty well, and it's pushing most of the stuff up and out. However, what it doesn't get is behind the motherboard and behind the PC. So you're gonna have much more dust there. So we will, again, you'll be seeing some sexy B-roll shots of me just cleaning this dust off. All right, so here we now have the back panel of the PC and most of the dust seem to be actually on the back panel, not on the back of it here. So I'm just going to take our compressed air and get some of this dust off of what we can, just blowing it away. And luckily, it's windy enough today that the wind will take most of the dust out, and I don't have to worry about that. If you're doing this on a calm day, you want to make sure you're really blowing it up and out of the PC. But today, as long as it gets in the air, the wind should take care of it. Okay, so now that that's done, the back of this thing is basically clean. So, yeah, there it is. Nothing more needs to be done. You can just move on to the front. And the reason you want to take that front panel off, by the way, is for example, when I blew through these hard drive bays, it blew that out the front. And because the front panel was off, it just went on out. So, there's that. Now, something else I do want to mention, I wouldn't suggest unhooking things back here. You've cable managed this and got it pretty good. Unless this thing is really, really grimy, just leave it. There's no need to pull this thing apart and undo all the cables out here. We are going to be taking out the graphics card to clean it, but overall, no reason to really uh, do anything else but blow it off with some compressed air. Okay, so a bit of a interesting thing here. We lost this footage, so what I'm having to do is reverse us reinstalling the graphics card and do a voiceover. So right now, I'm taking out the SLI bridge. You won't have that when you're taking out your graphics card. After that, you're going to want to remove the power from the graphics cards, which you can see me doing there. Just a clip under these power cords, you push that clip down and you can pull them right out of the graphics card without any issue, so no big problem there. Next, you're going to want to remove the thumb screws on the back of the GPU. I had to use a screwdriver for this because these GPUs are so heavy, it is actually recommended to use a screwdriver to tighten them down. Yours might be able to be loosened with your thumb, but as you'll see here, when I just kind of barely tweak them, I'll then be able to pull these out with my thumb without any issue whatsoever, so no big deal there. It's actually kind of interesting the graphics card droop down as well when I remove these screws. Next, we need to pop the little clip under the graphics card right down where it actually installs into the motherboard. There's a little clip down there. You push that clip down, and then the graphics card can actually just be 
pulled right on out without any issues as you're seeing me do right now. Just pop it on out. You want to make sure you're staying clear of everything that's in there, like my Wi-Fi card, for example. Don't want to be hitting that, but it's out. There we go, and now it's time to clean it. So here we are with the uh, 980 Ti. All we need to do is we've got a bunch of dust on the back of it here. Just wipe that off with a paper towel, guys. There's no real reason to overcomplicate it. Just wipe it off and wipe it away from the graphics card. Kind of get it off, and then you're going to have some little stuff right here. We can take our trusty compressed air and blow that off. Okay, once you've blown that off, you can then take and flip the card around on its front and do the same thing. Wipe off any dirt or grime that you see and then blow with the compressed air the uh, fans. That should then blow any and all dust out of the graphics card. Okay, so even more footage was lost here for some reason. So now you're just seeing some sexy B-roll shots of this system. Actually, before it was cleaned because we lost the B-roll shots of after. I apologize about that, but it happens in making videos. So what? basically, after we cleaned the graphics card, all we did was take some compressed air and blow out the front of the system. We didn't do anything crazy like take the CPU cooler off. That is something I can recommend you do if if your CPU cooler is really bad, but mine really wasn't. I was literally able to just take the uh, compressed air, blow up in there, and blow all of the dust out of it. Well, most of it. And then I was able to take my hand and kind of wipe away the rest and pull it out of the system. I then took and wiped down the bottom of the case and anything I could with paper towels. And then after that, you can take a Q-tip and isopropyl alcohol and clean anything that is really grimy, like your fans. But I actually didn't end up doing this in this video because it wasn't needed. This system was not that dirty. I apologize for losing all this footage and you just happen to deal with voiceover, but like I said, it sometimes happens, and we'll make sure that we get multiple shots of stuff moving forward in order to make sure we have backups and not to let this happen again on these outdoor multi-person shoots. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit you guys with an outro. And there you guys have it. That's how you can clean a PC. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really does mean the world to us, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out, guys. Peace.